With the general election just three weeks away, I'd like to take another shot at Initiative 1098. This is the measure that would set up a state income tax for individuals making $200,000 or more a year, $400,000 or more a year for couples. I can see the temptation of targeting high income earners as a way to better help fund state programs and services. For a family making 60, 70, even 80,000 a year, it may feel like a way to up the ante on the wealthy. Here are the problems I have with 1098, though. For one thing, after two years, it would take only a simple majority vote of the legislature to change the initiative. Lawmakers could lower the taxable income level to whatever they damn well please. In short, that $80,000 a year family could quickly be wrapped up with a state income tax bill. The other problem I have with 1098 is it being touted as a tax reform measure, horse pucky. Yes, it diminishes property taxes by a small margin, and it eases some of the business and occupation tax burden. But tax reform? Not by a long shot. Look, I'm a longtime advocate for tax reform, including a state income tax, and 1098 doesn't even come close. People have three weeks to make up their minds on this issue. I hope you make the right choice. No on 1098. As always, send your comments to Ken Schramm at Como4News.com. And of course, you can catch Ken on his Como News radio show every weekday, noon to 3 p.m.